What's up everybody? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons and welcome back to another video. I hope every single one of you are having a good day. And uh, guys, I'm sorry I took a few days off from YouTube. I need a little break. Uh, we got a lot going on. The Canada thing went great. So we just had a truck go. We actually sent the cab over, the international cab over. Um, we sent it to Ontario, Canada. It went perfect. Truck went in over the border, no problem. Got back over the border, no problem. And now we're headed to Alberta, Canada. So the Argosy is on its way to Alberta. So if any of you guys are out there on the road, um, we're trying to miss the snowstorm. So he's headed down like the Kansas area and he's going to shoot back up and uh, head up towards Alberta. So the you, you're, if you're in Canada, if you're in the Alberta area, you're probably going to get to see the cab over, uh, the orange Argosy. So pretty excited about that. That has went really good. I was really nervous about it, but with all y'all's help, like everybody sent us emails saying, you know, some tips and tricks on how to get over the border. A lot of people reached out and gave us some good pointers and they worked. They really helped out a lot. With that going on and then some, some awesome, awesome, awesome things have been happening and some really exciting things are coming to the company and to the YouTube channel. And I will be sharing that as soon as possible. So I'll get you guys caught up. I just wanted to let you know, I took a few days off and just, you know, I, I wanted to get, you know, I'm excited. I'm super excited. I've been putting a lot of effort into the company along with everybody else. Everybody that was here without a CDL is in truck driving school right now, getting their CDLs. We've got like three people in CDL school right now. My brother finishes up this week and then he'll be going in the truck for some training and then I'm excited to see what he does. You know, I'm sure he'll probably want to be an owner operator. Guys, I'm going to let you get to the video. I'll let you get caught up. I love y'all. And thanks for watching. Best crane operator inside the Mississippi, ain't you? All right, bring it over here and drop it. Cable down. All right, cable down at the same time. There you go. Turn that shaft. Yeah. Well, the engine on. Yeah, it's in. It's... Rack, put a little pressure on it. Pull up on the hair. Up? Yeah. Right there. Right there. Well, did it go in the. Yeah, it's in the clutch. I mean, oh, the uh, throat bearing. Throw out bearing. No, fine. Probably what's holding it. That's probably what's holding it. Go back a little bit, see the look, or you can look on it. All right, whoop, hold her right there. I can. All right, come on in slowly, boys. Don't... Come on in. Come on in. Well, hold on, I need something. Hold on, oh, hold it right there, don't move. Let me pry bar or something. Alright, come on in. Oh yeah. Lucky there. It's good. Oh! Hey, park down. Yeah, just hair. Oh, yep. Look at that. Slid right in. Well, we say go that trick in the truck. Yeah, they don't ever pop like that in the truck. No, not with it. Oh, we're starting to come up a little bit. We're starting to come around. Oh. 
Rex has been operating the crane all morning. Yeah. See that big brand new set of heads, new injectors. This thing will run like a top. Yeah. Like a big cam. Jack here. Why don't you take it out? You can take it off crane now, can't you? Jack's in fire. How's that one of our fire jacks? Still works though. A little everybody hot. Says, everybody says the seals blow out in it, but it ain't blowed out yet. <laughs> <laughs> Said the motor ain't gonna run either. It looks pretty good to me, all new seals on it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good on the inside. Or two is pretty fresh. Only made it a couple trips. Oh yeah. Yeah. That is. There was something. That's not going. We're not using that. That's tried to fix that. Didn't work. I don't think it's ever gonna work either. Yo, you're dead on it. That's right, right there, baby. That transmission looks crooked. It does uh, look crooked, yeah. don't it? Is that the strip? <laughs> <laughs> no, it no matter. You know what? This motor does sit at an angle. It does. Like really? It sits sideways. Oh, wow. And because it's a big, it's a big cam. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> That big cam's gonna stay on there. Just Look how professional my guys are using the Loctite. Oh, we don't do anything without Loctite anymore. Jack it up a little bit more. Yeah, easy now. Just get, on it. Your, get on twist of them with our fingers. Okay. There she is, boys. There she is, Tim. Leave the pressure up. Different mount. Yeah. Oh, you put their own mount on it. We took the one out of the bird's truck. That big fancy motor. Oh, right there. Good. Right there. Right here is bad boy cheats to life, baby. Man, this thing actually looks pretty good in there. All right, Devin just got back with the right clutch rod this time. Ooh. You gonna work? Oh, looks like it. It'll look up right here. I don't like all. Put it on backwards. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, there she is. Look there. I'm ready to have this monster done. Let me match the clutch pedal real quick and see. I don't want to wait. I want to match it now. I don't want to wait too tight it, Devin. Well, honestly, yeah. Might as well because... Make sure before you tighten it up. Oh, yeah. Look at there, buddy. Got her. Everyone's got to adjust it now. Right. Set this thing to have tires put on it, and it don't look like it happened. I thought you were getting tires put on. Couldn't get to it. Really? Yep. Which ones you getting put on? Those two. And those two. And those two. And I got my shined up wheels so I could get my pretty wheels back on. You're going to have to take them off before you hook that trailer. Yeah, I figured if I'm on the trailer, I'd get them gloves. Since I couldn't get, he couldn't get us in. Yeah. He said he was back up three or four hours. Uh, Reno, Washington.
Lincoln. That's it. Sure, but it's it. Nope, that's it. Can't see Loaded it myself. That's definitely it. That's it, baby. You see, oh. you see your driver checking on you. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna say I'm not proud of you until I do. Throw these tires on this trailer for me. Get on it, boy. Let's go. Well, he's gonna be as tall as you, ain't he? Dude, he's only 13. Dude, Steve Easting tires right here look brand new. That this one does. I run that that. up there is terrible. I run that for another six months. That's a good spare. Yeah. I was actually thinking about... Well, put those two matching ones back here. That's what I'm going to do. And then four new ones put four new ones on the front axle. And then I was going to keep this one for a spare. And put the toolbox for a spare. God dang, you got everybody in here. We're in a short bus. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, isn't it? Yep. Works out good. What's he Nathan today? Oh, dude, I got a video to show you. Oh no, don't don't do it. <laughs> he, what do you do now? He crashed a dirt bike. Right there, got a big old bruise. The, the right dirt here. bike I got from you. Yeah. Oh god, how'd you <laughs> crash that thing? <laughs> he come through a mud hole. Uh, it got away from him and left turned, and he hit a pine tree. Oh. Planted god. into a pine tree. That's Nathan for you. It's pretty bad. I said, man, you Nathan that one. <laughs> I'm getting a shirt made for him. Please. Look at the mud. I just got it washed. Nathan. Everything that happens, that's Nathan. Yeah, Nathan that one. <laughs> well, I tell you what, for an old Mac, this ain't a bad old girl. That's a good truck. That truck's solid. I can't really complain about this truck. You've ran the wheels off of it, honestly. It it's at 750 now. Uh, 750 today. 750? Oh, yeah, 750. Well, we'll sell it. I want to run it. We'll run it until it just can't run no more. 775. Oh. Hey, I've heard of them 1.2, 1.3. They say the only thing on these Mack motors is the injectors. Yeah. They like to shed injectors when we get miles on them, but the motors themselves. Something I saw said they were like 92% was still running with a million on them. Yeah. Ah, who? She gets a million, we might just in frame it, throw a Detroit or something in it. Because it is the truck. I love the truck. It's comfortable. That truck rides and handles better than any of the other trucks I've drove. Yeah. It's granted, it ain't nearly as many as you drove, but right. you know what I'm saying. Really, the only thing it's I've drove cool. that matches up to it is that classic, that old classic. I don't know what it is about that black classic. It's so comfortable. That air ride front end, I guess. I just looked at that. Was that one you didn't put me in? Good. I wouldn't mind it. As long as you get, if you're going to get a wrap, yeah. you'd be surprised what I'll make that truck look like. I was wanting to get it wrapped and get it polished. and uh, Yeah, I got to say, I can't complain about this old truck. Other than the e-logs, which ain't really a problem since the system never works. Well, and running team with me and the yeah. wife. You know, Elog. It is aggravating because things like um, you can't run out there and do your crew trip and jump on the truck and hit go. Yeah. You've got to remember to log on duty first. It can't be 14 minutes. Yeah, be 15 it's minutes. It's got to be 15. Uh, if you pull up to the fuel pumps and fuel, when you pull forward, if you do anything more than idle in first gear to pull off the line. It's gonna log you driving and screw up your brake. Dang. That's so, why everybody said in fuel bombs all the time, ain't it? Probably so. There are some things like that. And you not that I would ever do it, but you can forget about a uh, rolling driver switch. Right. Okay, yeah. You've gotta stop, log out, log the other person in, log their free trip. <laughs> there is no just slide in. I'm out of time. You've got to make. You've got to find a place to stop long enough to do your free trip and all that before you can click driving. So the little things that we could kind of finagle, it ain't no, it's gone. Yeah. Which was good about the. At least everybody, you know, you have. There's no reason why you shouldn't do a free trip if you're having to stop anyway. True. Which you know me. Yeah. Yeah. Which you take care of your trucks anyway. So. I don't really worry much. Get it all tore apart. 
One of the rods broke in half and it fell out. So. Is that what happened and broke a rod? Brax's motor blowed up. He's over there pulling it apart. We got the heat fixed on the Classic. All it was was a valve. So now it'll burn you out. We're trying to get it detailed and cleaned up. And uh, I want to fix all these. So the one thing that happens to these trucks, what messes up these Freightliner dashes and they start rattling and shaking and all over the place, is these tabs. They get stuck. And then you go to pull a bolt out or put one in. And you got to turn it too hard or twist it too hard it breaks these tabs off and once that happens it's just all downhill from there um i got a new cup holder for it, it goes up under the dash that's something on a you know a freightliner classic they're actually pretty cool for holding your coffee stuff like that but me and brax we're running the rack on it again setting the jakes a little tighter because they are loose right now because we thought that's what the miss was back when we had an injector issue and I feel like this driver's side stack is just a little bit taller than the passenger side, but it's hard to, I don't know guys, it's hard to tell. Let's see. In the camera, it definitely looks like driver's side's taller than the passenger side. So I wanna get that straightened up and I may have somebody that's gonna wrap it for us. I just gotta design the wrap. So Steve really wants to go in this truck, but I also may be getting that Peterbilt. We're working on that trade deal right now. Um, I've got some reefer freight that we've been hauling, so I could use an extra reefer right now. And I can't really decide what to do though. Um, if it's an easy, you know, even swap trade, get it done, get it knocked out. I'm definitely probably gonna do it. Um, because I want to be able to put all my focus into rooster. Alright guys, I had to come down and pick up a boat real quick. It's a rush deal. We got to get it to uh, Atlanta, Indiana. 52 to 39. I like these rush deals. It's my favorites. So it looks like we're going to make a quick trip to Atlanta, Indiana tonight. Jack it up, looks like. This backup camera will spool you. Yeah, then we have to jack it up. Guys, we're almost back. The Ford's about to hit 5,000 miles. That's a few mileage did start coming up once we got some mileage on it. So, I'm um, still pretty tickled with it, other than I'm gonna have to put def in it soon. But I've not put any in it since I bought it. So, it don't use a lot. I don't know if it starts using more when it gets older, but like this is pulling this big hill like it's nothing. It's literally like it's nothing. Well, the ram showed up and saved the day. I don't even have to go tonight. All right, right there. We'll take him down, Brax. Pull up just there, Tim. Hold on, Brax. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Right there. Perfect. Look at this, guys. She got some new meats on her today. Hey, did you save them two front ones or? No, we still got them already. Okay. Wonder if we get a hundred thousand out of these. Okay, I'm not damn it. Well, they had a hundred twenty-five thousand on them, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. It's got a hundred and seventy-one thousand. Let's see here. Yeah, 171,754 miles on it. We have been turning some miles. Well, Tim has been turning some miles.
Yeah. Well, them tires look good. Yeah, I know. I like them. I thought that pretty good too. Yeah. No, that really ain't bad. If we get another 100,000 out of a set of tires, shoot. I put 109 gallon in that. I go, back, go up there and back on that. Yeah. That build my truck on her. They put 285s or they just 295s? They look a little bit smaller than the other one. No, they're 295s. I can't believe we got 125,000 out of the last set. So guys, these are Michelin Defenders. And we put a set on this thing at 50,000 miles. 50, it was like 50, 55,000 miles. FMC USA, man, that thing's coming off. Everybody always asks us if we run stickers and stuff. We do run stickers on these trucks, uh, but Tim uses this truck personally when he's at home, so he's got stickers that just mount to the window. And I checked them when I picked it up, but you can recheck them. I always do, but no man. Well, I'd rather see you checking them than not checking them. <laughs> I appreciate you coming and jumping on. Did you get the paperwork? No. Oh, I need to get it for you real quick then. No, I definitely want to try these new stickers out. I'd like to know what some of the other hotshot guys do. Well, that one uh, that uh, I met in Boston used a magnetic strip. Yeah. I've got the magnetics for mine, but it, I have to stick them. Uh, now I have to stick them in the windshield because this thing is aluminum. Really? Yeah. I guess I can give them to you. Up. You could stick them on yours, yeah. yeah can they stick them up? Probably. I'll get them. Yeah. You get back in. Yeah, they stick out here. Yeah, because I got them for this truck. That's what I got them for, is this one, that white one. Uh, that way you ain't got to keep putting them in a window. Yeah, and... this is thick, Yep. Oh, yeah, so it'll work right perfect yep. to this one. That's what I want to put right there. Right here. Yep. See? And then when I get done with them, just take them to the side. Right there. Yeah. Put them in the truck. I'd like to know what some of the other guys use. Wait. They, most of them use a piece of aluminum right here. It rolls up in the window. That gooseneck could be close, but I still think we can run a gooseneck in here. Well, that's why we put that where we did. We think we can put a gooseneck in it. If we have to. Yeah. Which, hell, this thing stays with you all the time, so I don't even... I don't even consider it my truck, no. <laughs> well, it's your truck. I, I treat it as it be yours. Well, that's why I don't care if you're taking it and using it as your own, because I know you take care of it. You keep it clean. I'm not such a cleaner as outside of that, or vice versa. But I give you clean. I'm tickled with it. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm out here. Thank you, brother. Be safe. Thanks for jumping on this last minute. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. It's got to be delivered in the morning. We were going to take it, me and you, but now we can work. Where are they going? It's going to Indiana. Indiana? Yep. Okay. Atlanta, Indiana. I wonder why all them lights don't light up all the way across. I think them. I know the reverse light. I've seen the reverse lights come on, but. That thing's been such a good truck. Need to be careful saying that. <laughs> I'd like to see it hit a million miles. That's a good example of the Amsoil. Look how that motor's still. See how that coating on the... You don't have no dry starts. Oh, I see that. It's nice. See, it's got a film around it right now. Keeps the coating up. Yep. That oil ponds to the metal good. It does, it does, it really does a good job keeping from having to do a dry start. And that's what eats these cams up. Yep. Well, no, go in a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. All righty, baby, we gotta get this trailer hooked up out of this tag on field. Oh man, it's muddy. Mm, I don't want to get my truck dirty. Oh well, it's work truck. Boys, back up this big wagon and get hooked up and go over here and get us a load. Hey, 
Gone. 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 I ain't gonna get nothing done just loading boats. That's all I'm gonna get done. Gotta pay the bills though, guys. Bam, got it. Big, beautiful rig, you. Oh, Sherbert. Sherbert knows the deal. I guess I could move that fifth wheel back a little. Oh man, I forgot this trailer it needs that arm hooked up on it. All right, trailer, air up. So we just put some new tires on this trailer. All new air pods, all new brakes. All the maxis have been replaced and it ain't been pulled yet. So um, I need to pull it around and go load a load of boats on it. I think that rod that I need is back here. For some reason, I wanna feel like Joe told me that it was back here. So, um, I wanna get that fixed too when I get back. I'm loading. pretty good wagon here it pulls good all right we're all aired up let's see if we got oh I know one thing I don't have is that handle that does the straps let's see if our lights are working we got blinkers Loud blinkers. Click, click. Click, click, cool, man. All right, we got one over here that ain't so bright. Have to check that out. We're on the road, baby. Guys, that visor, if I end up keeping this truck, this visor has got to go. It's just in the way. Visor and front fenders are the first things I'm gonna to do to it. And the light panels. And I definitely uh, would have to shorten it if we keep it. But besides that, it's a pretty cool old truck. up right there by the way that's jesse's he left it in here well, that's jesse's wife's watching that ain't jesse's <laughs> i don't i don't know if my wife she caught me dipping the other day and uh it was just the uh, nicotine dips and uh boy she come unglued guys i just got the coolest text ever from one of my favorite YouTubers, we got something really cool to haul coming up. So two really cool hauls coming up actually. I don't know which one's cooler. Let's see if we can make it swing in this big old ginormous Peterbilt. I know there's some boats sitting over here to my right. We made the swing, guys. We made it. Think about the orange cucumber or whatever they call it, Sherbert. <laughs> you know, I love that old truck. From back here, it looks awesome. It's just them front fenders and that visor. I just I hate them. It definitely needs a little bit of paint or a little bit of washer. Yeah. 
It needs some TLC. <coughs> it's not bad though. It is nice. It is. It's definitely a. I'd say back in the day when it was first built, that was the baddest thing on the road. I mean, yeah, it's built well, but still, it's, you don't miss it. I'll put it that way. No, it definitely stands out. Beautiful. Look how perfect that just fit on there. I wish all the boats was this little again. That's why we don't get to use this trailer a whole lot anymore, guys, because the boats are so big. It's very rare we get two short boats together. What do you think about Jenny? Where's your nail gun at? He got it over there. I'm old school. What are you going to eat? That tire seems a little low. A little low. You ain't got a tire thumber? Yeah, it's called Scotty. Dang, I tell you what, that's a good looking shirt you got on today. I like it. See the back of it. Oh, rooster. Yeah. God, I can't wait to get back in that truck. Rooster? Yeah. He is a pretty truck. I didn't have to decide then, like, what am I going to drive on this trip? I just knew what I was going to drive. All right, they got her loaded up. Look at Scotty getting her done up there, boys. Thank you, brother. Uh oh, you Hello. make her mad. There you go, Timothy. Thank you, brother. Thank hey, Jill, make it them shirts. Thirty percent off right now on the Gentry and Sons website. All right, boys, let's go. We got some things to do. Golly, bum! I'm getting ready to go turn some miles. Baby, let's go do some hauling. We're going to take back to the shop because this trailer needs a good once over. trips I got going on I should be able to finish the motor for rooster and start getting it put in I really want to get my truck back going that's why I've been working so hard to try to get some money built up to where I can finish it I ended up having to buy another transmission motor the whole nine yards I guess it's late in the day, school's getting out. We might as well just go over and hit the interstate. Check my load. 
I'm about to put me a beeper on my blinker. Straps is all good and tight still. Good deal. That's what I like to see, boys. Tell you what, Scotty and the boys, Bryce, all them guys down there, they do a really good job loading. No doubt about it. I've loaded at a lot of boat places and uh, they're pretty much the best in the business. They pay very close attention to detail and they hustle and they get it done. They don't drop and complain. They take pride in their work. I really like that. Hey, easy, baby. Don't you be spinning. You gotta be careful getting in the throttle this monster. because this truck's so long. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Back up. <laughs> get out of the back on the road. Come on now. Bye. 
baby, it's in the hill. It's nice to be in a good mood for once. The weather's coming out, everybody's buying boats. Come on, baby. We got her lug down, that ain't good for her, but we're gonna try it. truck over there. So all the lights are working it looks like. We're about to get a cover for the paperwork. Something is clicking. I'm thinking when we put the new brakes and stuff on it, I'm betting that there's the problem. The ABS ain't hooked up. Let's see, why is that? Why is the ABS in the See that thing's clicking? I think it's searching for ABS. Where are you at, ABS? Where? There it is. Zip tied off for some daggone reason. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't figure that out. Alright guys, so we're gonna grease it, adjust the brakes, and I gotta get that ABS sensor hooked back up. I don't know why it's unplugged. It's hard to get plugged in, I'm assuming it's why. Yeah, see that red line down there too? It's rubbing that uh, oh, yeah. brake chamber. Let's get it zip tied up. So this the one was lower? Rest of them are showing about 95 to 80. Okay, good. 95 to 100, I'm good with. Let's just get them all at 100 and be done with it. Alright, I just pull that off. Just pull your cap off. Just like that, and you just stick it in, and screw it back in. All right, now, sure. Sometimes you gotta niggle them where they'll go into the thing, and then, and then uh, get the battery in it. Yep. Well, that was good for it. So while I was gone, they've been working on getting this thing completely 100% good to go. New clutch rod, we got new pieces for the hood. Oh yeah. This truck did not get an easy clutch. I wish we would've got an easy clutch for it. I thought that we'd got an easy clutch for it it's hard for me to drive them because of the the way my leg is it's a lot easier with an easy clutch so we got a brake chamber leaking on it and then i'm probably gonna 
while I'm out on the road, I'll probably go ahead and get four new tires put on it. We've got four new ones on the front axle. And I'm headed to SH Tube as soon as I leave here because I don't have any air conditioner stuff. All my air conditioning stuff, I lost all of it. Uh, looks like Dad got new hose put on it. Air conditioner's on it. All of the filter stuff's back on it. New alternator, again. Even got all this put on it. Heck yeah, it looks good. I am super excited about this thing. New air dryers on it. You get the new hood pieces on it, and then uh, I'm headed to Kentucky, get it completely wrapped up, and I can't tell you where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. It's a super secret load, the first one is. All right, guys, let's get on the Harley. We'll ride this big hog over there and turn into paperwork. Good, ready to rock. Fix that ABS wire. Thank you, buddy. I'll let you drive my Harley after a while. No, Shane, you're not riding my Harley. Oh, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo! Man, this thing's fast. What do y'all think about my hog? Y'all wanna go for a ride? I'll pass. I am booked. Come on. I know y'all want to. Look at all this stuff. Come on, you're right in the front, Jake right on the back. Did you get this with your wheeler? Yeah. yeah. You picked up two boats with that thing. Look, Jay. Let's haul the whole trailer load back with that, be that beast. That's impressive, Timmy. <laughs> I've heard. That's yeah. what. Keep on amazing me. Well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Can only do what I do. Yeah, you can. Oh, crap. Nathan's over here. I hope we don't Nathan this thing up. What are you Nathaning? Nothing yet. Give me enough time and I will. Getting cleaned up? I'm trying to. Good deal. Woo you find anything good in there? Uh, yeah, actually. Did you know you had a gold pocket watch? I do now. <laughs> Got a truck on it. What? No way. No way, man. I'll have to send that to the previous owner. But it's cool though. It does have a lot of power. Good. Check her out, boys. Alright, let's get you ready to rumble, boy. Right, I'll meet you over there. Boys, unhook my Peter car. Sit there, brakes. Easy hog. All right, she's ready to roll. We got new lights in it. Got everything fixed on it. So there she goes.
All right, we got the tree truck coming in for a service. Dude, I still can't, look how big these darn wheels are. This thing should go anywhere. Yeah, lift it up off the ground. We're gonna pull that front wheel off and put a regular wheel tire on and see what it looks like. Well, lift it up. You know how that thing is? Yeah. That motor sounds good though. All right, guys, we got the floaters off of it. Look how huge these things are. That thing's got an 81 Vortec in it. Now, it's awesome. Like, if you were in the woods all the time or in swampy stuff, that'd be pretty awesome. But we, I had these 315s over there in the trailer I bought from a guy. Oh, what I buy these? About six months ago? And we were going to use them on a dump truck. I went and had, I went a different route on the dump truck with Dakota. He bought this thing, and it's just too aggravating for him trying to drive back and forth to Knoxville and having those big old tires with that eight one. So uh, I had these rims laying around and them tires just taking up space. So it actually turned out to be a pretty good deal. I got to make a little money today. He got to save some money. That's what it's all about. These are all Michelins, like off of a bus. It's the same thing we run on Cletus's toter. Same tires. Well, it officially hit 5,000 miles today. It's been a long, long week already, and it's only Tuesday, so. I've got to get ready to go, though. So I've got to uh, go do a couple more things to the Coronado, and then we're going on a big, long trip, so. I'm gonna go home, wash some clothes, get everything ready to go. Go get the Coronado fired up and hopefully get out of here and I'll take you guys along with me. Thank you guys for making it possible for us to keep going and I really do appreciate it. But I'm gonna get in here, get my clothes washed, get ready to go on the road and then uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Love y'all.